Good morning, welcome to We Repair. Um, so this morning I'm going to do a very, very quick video um, on how to factory reset a uh, Google Nexus 7. Um, the process is exactly the same for the 7.1 and 7.2, uh, so if you can do one you can do the other. Uh, the only thing that, that differs slightly is uh, if you reset it one, while you've got access to the system. So um, this Google Nexus 7, if you wanted to reset it and you already had access to the device, you would go into the main menus, you would go into settings, and then you would go into backup and reset, and then you go factory reset all data. That will nuke everything, um, that will put it back to a, a clean state as if it had first come out of the box. Um, so it, it should, in theory, remove any accounts, remove any malware, um, and put it into a really clean state. Now, say you were in the position that you'd put an account on this, you put a pin on it, you'd forgotten um, your pin code, you've forgotten your um, image unlock thing, I can't remember the name of it, pattern unlock, that's the one, um, and you wanted to get into the device, you couldn't. The only option you've really got is to factory, de to, to factory reset it. Um, there is another couple of options if you've rooted your device, but most normal people won't have done that. Um, so bear in mind, if you go through the process I'm about to describe, it will erase all your data. So anything on the device will be gone. Photos, emails, the lot. So you've got your device. What the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it off. So hold the power button, power off. I'm going to give this 30 or 40 seconds just to reset. So that's now the device turned off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to boot into recovery. So to do that, we need to hold the power button uh, and the volume down key until you get uh, to the, the Android screen. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So we're going to hold the power button and volume down together for about, I don't know, six to 10 seconds. Um, and it should come onto the right screen. So we'll do that now. So power and volume down held. And there we go. We've got a little dead Android as it <laughs> seems to look like. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to press the volume down key um, two times and then you will get on the screen just up here, I don't know how well it comes across on camera, you're going to get recovery mode displayed. Uh, and then you're going to press the power button to select it. And then after a few seconds, it will take you to another screen. A few and a few more seconds. Uh, so no command screen and you're going to press the power and volume down keys um, together sorry, power and volume cut, volume up, even not volume down, and that will take you into the next screen. So we'll just do that. There we go. So power and volume up, you should only have to press it once, I missed the key a couple of times there. And then on this screen, um, we're gonna scroll down until we get to wipe data uh, slash factory reset. Um, and we'll press the volume down key to do that. And then we're gonna press the power button to select it. And then again, using the volume down, we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to delete all user data. And we're going to select it again. And then at the bottom of the screen down here, it's going to be saying wipe data, formatting cache, factory reset. Um, so our next step from there on is to select the top option on the screen to reboot the device. Um, so again, you're going to press the power button once. And that's going to reboot. Now that will have factory reset your device now. Um, so anything on it will be gone. It will be back to, to default. As I say, same process applies for the, the um, Nexus 7 first generation and Nexus 7 second generation. From here on, it will go through its setup process. It will take probably two, three minutes to get you back to the home screen. And at that point, you can type in your account details and whatever else you want um, to go back through the setup. Anything stored on the SD card in theory should still be there. Um, so if you have stored data on there, in theory it should still be there, you might want to remove it before you start the process just as a safeguard. But anyway, that is it. Um, it is that simple. Um, that, that whole process, even with me yammering on, took less than five minutes. Um, so hopefully you found it useful, you've learned something, you've managed to sort your own device out. If you have, please um, drop us a like, leave us a comment, um, subscribe to the channel, it really does help. Um, we are on the on the cusp of, uh, of a thousand subs now, so um, yeah, if you can do do some more to support us, I'd be absolutely grateful. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video.